Hey guys, it's Charles Austin here with the Liquid Blue Cabaret in Cabaret, Dominican Republic. And today we're gonna be reviewing this new bad boy. This is the Strike V4. As you can tell, it's still in the bag. Um, I haven't looked at it. Let me open this up. Whippa, wait a minute, this might be a tough one. So I haven't looked at it yet. I don't even know what color it is. Okay, we got the slate. Let me just open this. There we go. So we got, we got the brand new V4 here. I've seen some of the information that is released online, though to be honest, I don't put too much attention to it because, you know, once you get it, you got it. And then from there, you'll have to ride it and you have to figure out if you like it or not. So unfortunately in this video, I'm not gonna be testing it out because we don't have wind today and we're also not on the beach because the beach is just filled with people. So we don't wanna, you know, be a menace to society on the beach. But we are here in the backyard of Liquid Blue and we're gonna be checking it out live. So here we got the usual user manual, pump adapter, uh, little patches for the, um, the canopy or tube. And then that is pretty, that's pretty much it. Let me just put this here where I always put it. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. So you got the usual bag. One thing that I miss about some of the bags is that they had the clips here, which was just a little feature that I liked. But um, we got the bag there, nice and black, so it's not gonna get too dirty. And we got the wing. Well, actually before pumping it, let me, let me open it up. So as you know, when you get a brand new wing, it comes, comes wrapped up all nicely. One thing off the bat that I can already tell is this load diffuser, which you've seen on the V3s, is a lot smaller than what it is currently. And in terms of the wing itself, all right, let me just get this open. All right, so this is a 4.5. I usually ride a five meter myself, though um, the 4.5 is also a great size for here in Cabaret. Wrist leash looks the same. Attachment point also looks the same. We'll get some zoom in probably on this. This handle right here, in terms of rigidity, if anything feels the same, to be honest. And I see a lot of stitching here, which is great. So this is not gonna go anywhere at any moment. In terms of the wing itself and the material, almost seems like the same material as last year, but uh, here we do have the main handle that it comes with. There's one thing that we've noticed that there's different, or that I've noticed right now, and that I've heard about is that there's different attachments. So it's not out yet, they're still testing it, but basically we're gonna have different handles on the same wing, which is gonna be nice because there's some people that complain, they say, oh no, the reason why I use X brand is because there is um, hard handles or because there's a boom. But now, if all goes well, and I believe it should because F1 always releases things once they know it works, that we're gonna have all three and maybe even four options on this wing, which is sweet because I myself want to try out the hard handles or I actually might consider wanting to ride a boom. I've been wanting to ride a boom after seeing uh, Balls Miller riding, AKA Radiculo, because I see the tricks he can do with a boom and these are just tricks that you cannot do with um, hard handles or even these handles, just a lot more difficult. You need the boom to do them. So this is sweet. I can tell that that this is attached pretty well. You gotta take this off, seems pretty easy, just like a surf strap. So this is for sure not going anywhere. This right here. So just this opens up, just like a surf strap. So this for sure is not going anywhere. So this is a nice, simple design. And then the handle that we all know. And in terms of, of PSIs for the inflate, it's again recommended the nine and the 10, which was what it was last year. So, all right, let's get this pumped up and let's see how it looks all rigged up. So far, so good. You know, the price point I believe for this year is gonna be the, staying the same as what the V3 is, which is nice. If anything, a marginal increase, but um, you know, so this is just gonna be great for, it's gonna be a great upgrade actually overall for people who even have a V3 or V2 or V1 because of these new features 
after you have this V4, I don't know what else is gonna be happening other than new materials or maybe uh, refining the shapes, but already the fact that this can do multiple um, handle attachments is like a game changer. So I would definitely consider upgrading if someone had a, if someone had a, uh, a prior wing or previous wing, you know, this is probably gonna be the go-to wing for many years. It's almost like a little bit like motorcycles where if you ride motorcycles, you know that there's this new technology, TPI, where essentially the oil and the gas is mixing by itself and you didn't have to do this manually. You know, after you have a bike like that with that technology in it, all the other bikes, they have upgrades, but you can get almost any year of that and you'll be pretty happy. So I think this is where we're at with this wing. Now let me just get a little bit of exercise here, pump this up. I'm gonna pump it up to the recommended PSI. Usually, usually I always pump it up a little bit higher than the recommended PSI, just for preference, because I like it rigid, I like it solid. But in this case, just for testing it out, I'm gonna pump it up to what they recommend, which is nine in the leading edge, and then uh, 10 in the center strut. One thing that's also important when you're pumping up a new wing or even a kite or anything that's inflatable is just making sure you pump it up almost manually, nice and slow, so you can see if there's any twists or anything like that that might uh, lead the wing to, uh, or the tube to explode, which I've seen it rarely happen, but I've seen it happen, all kinds of brands. So what you can tell, look for, is just if you see anything weird, but everything looks fine. So let's get this up to nine. One more. There we go. So that's nine. I don't know if it's new. I don't know if it's because it's new or this is just a new little neoprene. Same here with behind the handle, just feels a lot softer and a little bit thicker than uh, what, were you, what I'm used to on the prior wings. All right, and here 10. We are at 10. Perfect. So looking at this, already in terms of how the panels are laid out, there's a slight little difference just with this, this seam right here. So even though a lot of people don't focus on these things, how they do the stitching, how the panels are laid out, all this really affects the longevity, performance of the wing. This is the Strike V4, and uh, definitely it's gonna be the performance wing. As always, we have Sail Engineering, Techno Force Double Ripstop Fabric, 52 grams and 66 grams, the high Hitex 158, 178, Strike V4. We got these sort of just stiffening objects which are nice. Let me just lift this up. All right, so the back handle, let me see if this loosens up actually. All right, so when we're gonna be riding it, let's say full tension, it'll be like that. And full tension will be like, will be like that. All right, so these handles, going back to it, I'm guessing you could see this. It's pretty much the standard um, handles that you find on the V3. They're like these medium strength handles, you know, rigidity. They're not soft handles and they're not hard handles, but you can tell that they don't really, they don't really move, which is nice. This one, this front handle, interestingly, you can tell how much more scooped it is than the back one. The back one's just a little bit longer, a little bit more space, sort of control where the, um, where you're sort of getting your power from and how you're generating your power and holding your wing. Here in the front, it's pretty much standard. And actually, I like it that's a little bit more up because I can bring the wing a little bit one inch higher, two inches higher than I normally would have if it was uh, totally flat. 
which is interesting. Same thing, leash attachment, same spot. But overall, it looks good. You know, the load dispersion frame, which is here on the back, a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller than last year. Last year's, if I remember right, it just went up to here maybe. So when you're folding it, wrapping it up, it was just a little bit odd. But at first look, it looks like a Ferrari, you know? Looks like a sports car, definitely. And some nice rigidity in the wing itself. So it's super, definitely super. Well, in any case, guys, I think that uh, for this, this is pretty much it in terms of how much we're gonna be reviewing this wing. I'm not gonna be able to ride it, so any of the information I tell you right now is just pure aesthetics. I think in terms of logic of upgrading that there is definitely a reason to upgrade this year because of this new feature. Putting everything aside, this new feature alone is upgrade worthy because now if you want hard handles, you can ride hard handles. If you want a boom, you can ride a boom. And I'm gonna be, it's gonna be cool to ride a boom. Just have two things here, boom, bring the wing however you want. And in terms of, yeah, in terms of its rigidity, you know, right now, of course, it's brand new, so it feels just super nice. But, yeah, I don't see too many things flapping. This part stays all stiff up at the top. The back has a little bit of play. Has a little bit of play. And then here also, it doesn't seem to be deforming too much. So, you know, this looks like a really solid wing. And going back to it, people, you know, year after year in these sports, in any sport, when they're coming out with new models, they're like, ah, oh, do I really have to upgrade? Do I really need the new iPhone? Do I really need the new uh, wing? Do I need the new board? And generally speaking, you know, you could probably skip a year or two in terms of progress, but if you're thinking to upgrade because your wing is out of date, you know, I don't know if I would be buying a previous year model just because this model seems like the complete upgrade because you're gonna have best of all worlds in terms of the handles. Of course, I'm speaking early where I don't know what the final result of how it's gonna be done, but already looking at this design and how this is stitched on, this is totally reinforced like multiple times. It's really looks heavy duty. So for this to, um, for this to really come apart, it looks like it's gonna be a tough one, but it looks very solid, the construction. And um, I'm excited to see how the next, how the next uh, sort of evolution is gonna be, especially once we get the hard handles, once we get the boom, to test that out. But what we're gonna do is that we'll end this here. Overall guys, sick wing, strike going forward, it's definitely going forward. The material, it's brand new, you know, so everything just feels awesome. How the stitching is done and the patterns, looks like they sort of refined the previous design a little bit more. Uh, definitely straight strut compared to, if I remember right, we had a bit of a, a curve in some other ones. And um, going back to it, this is what stands out. This is what's the big upgrade here. This handle's also super great for wave riding. I love it like this, nice and hard, predictable. You can move it with your wrists. You can control it nicely when you're going up and down the waves. And uh, yeah just really pulled in, really tucked in shape. You know, I don't, I don't have a four or five right here, right next to it, but it does seem just a hair smaller than the usual four or fives, just more pulled in everything, the wing tips, the cut. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. This is the Strike V4. We will be releasing a video in the future. Maybe not myself riding, cause I won't be riding for the next two to four weeks. But we'll probably get one of the guys in the team to test this out, get some footage get their first impressions. They're gonna be the first guys to ride it before I am. So I'm stoked for them. And I hope that when I come back, I'll be able to get my hands on it if someone lets me ride it and uh, ride it out, try it out, and then give it for a spin. We are gonna be reviewing the Swing V4 as well. We have it here. Uh, we're gonna do another video. We'll put the link somewhere in the description or somehow we'll tag it. So at least you guys can see both reviews and maybe we'll even just do a little quick comparison so that uh, we have an idea of how these two wings compare. But the Strike is definitely a wing for the intermediate pro rider that wants to really push the limits. You know, if you're riding waves, if you're doing freestyle, if you're doing racing, uh, this is the wing for you pretty much. You know, I think that the swing is always more user-friendly. I've been using the swing a lot recently. Super nice, easy wing, 
Don't get me wrong, the Strike is also an easy wing, but you can just definitely tell this is a bit more of the sports car to the swing, but the swing is still premium, comfortable, great in wave riding. You can jump it, you can do 360s, you can do all. You can do, it, you can do everything on either wing, uh, but definitely, you know, there is a little bit more of a performance side to the Strike, and there's a little bit more of a performance side or uh, usability side to the swing, let's say, and even maybe performance side in the waves. I haven't really, but it, they work both so well side to side, so it's really tough. Like either one you have, you'll be happy. But uh, there is going to be a new wing in the F1 lineup called the Origin. We're most likely not going to be carrying it here because the swing and the strike already is a complete wing. But it seems like it's going to be a bit more of a price point wing because, you know, the sport's not free. And, uh, and in a way, it's not cheap either. So, you know, having a little bit of options in the price range does help people get into the sport. But definitely, if you have your chance on getting the latest wing, then this is really a wing to, to probably consider getting because it just looks, looks really well done, you know, in terms of looking at how the material is put together. It looks really solid and it's going to be a wing that is for sure going to be a force to be reckoned with. So, I'll leave it at that, guys. This is Charles Osterlin. I'll give you a full view of the wing right here. Boom. 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 And I'll catch you on the next one.